Okay, let's start Affinity Photo for iPad. Let's create a new document, set it to landscape, and hit OK. Tap on the Options button, tap on Place and Place from Photos. Select the photograph with the tulip. Tap on the screen to place the photograph. Now the photo is so much bigger than the document, so pinch to zoom out. And then tap on the corner handle to drag and resize. Pinch out to zoom in. Now tap on the selections persona to select the smart selection brush tool. Turn on the snap to edges because it will be easy for you since the background is a solid color. So now let's brush on the areas that you want to cut out. I'm going to speed this up to save time. Next, next, use two fingers to tap on the screen and then tap invert selection. Tap on refine tool. And then notice that this part of the photo gets cut off. So let's fix this. Select foreground in the adjustment option. Adjust the width and make it smaller. And then let's brush on this small part slowly and carefully. Notice that there is still some parts that need to be cleaned up. Now set the width much smaller and the adjustment option to matte. Now slowly brush the black areas. It looks a lot better now. Now repeat the same steps for other areas that require it. Select new layer and then tap on the tick mark. Notice that there is a small part on the left that got left out. Let's clean that up. Now make sure you're working on the layer that contains the photo. Tap on the photo persona and then tap on eraser tool. Brush away the area. Now let's add a new fill layer. Tap on the color button and select black color. Now tap and drag the fill layer to the bottom. This will be our background. Notice that there are white areas that we didn't get to erase. So just use the eraser tool and erase away those areas. Tap on the options button, tap place and place on photographs. We're going to use another photograph. This is the, the spilled milk photograph. So tap on the screen to place the photograph. And then resize the photo by tapping and dragging any of the corner handles. Make sure the liquid splash fits inside the canvas. We're now going to erase away the milk jug. Hide the flower layer. Select the black background layer. We're going to lock it. Now select the splash milk photo layer. Now tap on the eraser tool and erase away the milk jug part of the photograph. So you can e adjust the eraser tool if you need to. Turn on the flower layer. Select it and we're going to adjust the flower a little bit. I'm going to rotate it like that and move it down. Now let's adjust the spilled milk photograph. Let's flip it horizontally. Tap on the transform button and then tap on the flip horizontal button. Rotate and resize it so that the base fits the flower petals. Now move the spilled milk layer below the flower layer. Select both of these layers and then resize and make fine adjustments to the position. Now let's clean up some fine details. Parts of the milk splash is sticking out of the flower petal. So let's select the milk splash layer, select the eraser tool, set the appropriate size of the eraser tool and then slowly erase the parts that are sticking out. Next, we're going to select the smudge tool and then select the flower layer. 
Set the width and strength of the smudge tool. And then we're gonna smudge the insides of the flower so that it blends well with the milk splash. So I missed this part, so select the milk layer and erase it. Finally, let's put a gradient layer on top of the canvas to make the photo look more cohesive. Set the fill to linear and then drag the gradient handles such that it is vertical. Tap on the gradient handle and change its color. And I'm going to lower its opacity all the way down to zero. I'm also going to change the color to white. Select the bottom gradient handle and then select a yellowish orange color. Set the opacity to about 16. And that's it. I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more future videos that I'm going to be putting out soon. Thanks for watching.